In this video, I'm going to show you how to download the iris shaders for Minecraft 1.21.4. The first thing you want to do is you want to open up the Minecraft launcher. The first thing you want to do is you want to load into the version of Minecraft you are trying to get iris shaders for. So for this video, we're going to be working with Minecraft 1.21.4. So all you want to do is first make sure that you do load into Minecraft 1.21.4 because if you don't do this step, then you will not be able to download iris shaders or anything like that. All right, guys, so we just loaded in and once you're done with that, you can go ahead and close out of it. The next thing you want to do is you want to go to a link in the description down below or in the pinned comment and then it is going to take you to a page that does look like this. Now this page will give you the downloads to everything that you will need and it will also provide you with a written guide showing you how to do every step. So if that's something you're interested in, feel free to go ahead and check it out. So we just did step number one. So now step number two is to download the iris shaders installer. So all we need to do is we need to press on this link right over here and then it is going to take us to a page that looks like this and all we need to do is we need to go ahead and press on download download now then we need to go ahead and press on download universal jar now you might get a message that does say unverified download blocked uh, depending on your web browser but you just want to go ahead and press on download on a verified file do not worry it is completely safe anyways guys the next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be dragging and dropping the irish installer to our desktop just for clarity purposes you guys could obviously go ahead and just go to your file explorer and then look underneath downloads and find that file right over there but again, I just recommend dragging it out to your desktop because it'll make the process easier. The next thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and make sure we have Java 21 installed in our device. Now, in order to run like mods, shaders, Optifine, basically everything needed for Minecraft, you will need to go ahead and have Java 21 installed. So what you need to do is you need to go ahead and press on this link right over here and it is going to take you to a page that does look like this. So make sure that JDK21 is selected because we need to download Java 21. Then from here, go ahead and select on your operating system. So me personally, I'm on a Windows device, so I would go ahead and press on Windows and install the x64 installer right over here. And it's really important that you do have Java installed because you're able to run jar files and stuff like that. However, if you're running into any issues whenever you're trying to download Java, then what I recommend you guys do is actually run the jar fix. So the jar fix restores the ability to run .jar files with Java by correcting registry errors. So if you're running into any issues, I suggest you go ahead and press on this link right over here and that it is going to take you to a page that does look like this and then over here it will say you can fix this problem very easy with this the jarfix.exe program so all you need to do is go ahead and press on that and then it is going to run a command on your computer but again you only need to do this step if you're running into issues downloading java but anyways guys once you're done with that we can go ahead and open up our desktop so now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be selecting the iris installer then we're going to be right clicking and then we're going to go ahead and select on open with and you will notice that we will get the option that does say java tm platform se binary you should see this option if you do have java installed on your device which we just did in a previous step so let's just go ahead and select on java right over here and then it is going to give us a menu that does look like this so from here you want to go ahead and select on the game version that you're trying to get iris and sodium for so for this video i'm just going to go ahead and select on 1.21.4 but if you wanted to you guys can go ahead and select an older version it's really up to you and from here you guys have the option to install iris only or iris and fabric and fabric basically will allow you to run mods and stuff like that uh but for this video i'm just going to be selecting on iris only but either one of these will get the job done and you will be able to run shaders regardless of what you pick and then it is going to tell you the installation directory. So once you're done with all that, all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on install. All right, and then just wait a little bit. And then there you go. It will now install Iris and Sodium. So once you're done with that, the next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. All right, guys. So you want to make sure that you are logged in and that you have selected Minecraft Java Edition. And you will notice that in our version selector, Iris and Sodium for 1.21.4 will actually be selected. However, if you do not see this, then what I recommend you guys do is actually go to this top menu and select on installations then where it says versions you want to make sure that modded is actually turned on then you can go ahead and press on new installation and then where it says version you guys want to go ahead and just look up irish uh release right over here so that is definitely something that you guys can go ahead and do. But if you are able to see the Iris and Sodium installation right over here, then you are good to go. All you need to do from here is you need to go ahead and press on play, then press on this box that does say, I understand, and then go ahead and press on play one more time. All right, guys, so here we are in Minecraft 1.21.4. So you will notice that it is actually working because it will say fabric slash modded. So now that we're done with that, what we need to do is actually start downloading shaders for Iris. So if you go under step number seven of the written guide, it is gonna give you a link right over 
over here and whenever you do press on it it is going to direct you to a page that looks like this and over here is a bunch of shaders that you guys can go ahead and install that does work for iris so for this video let's go ahead and install the bsl shaders and also you want to double check that it is compatible with the minecraft version so yep we do have minecraft 1.21 right over here so that means that it will also work for minecraft 1.21.2 so anyways all you want to do from here is you want to go ahead and press on download and then it's going to give you a pop-up that looks like this so where's the select game version let's go ahead and select on minecraft 1.21.4 and let's go ahead and select on iris as the platform because we are using iris and then let's go ahead and press on download one more time we will now get the shader installation over here so all we're going to be doing is we're going to go ahead and just drag it and drop it to our desktop uh just to make things a bit easier guys so again you could always just find this through your file explorer and then look underneath download all right so the next step is to go ahead and open up options then go ahead and select on video settings and you will notice that the menu will actually look a little bit different so there's going to be a button over here that does say shader pack so go ahead and just open up that folder and you will notice that i already downloaded shaders previously but if you never downloaded shaders then this list will be empty so what you need to do is you need to go ahead and press on open shader pack folder then it's going to open up a folder that looks like this and all we need to do is drag and drop the shader that we did just download inside of this folder then we can go ahead and close out of it then we can go ahead and just open up minecraft and then there you go you'll notice that our shader will be right over there so all you need to do is you need to go ahead and select on it just like so then go ahead and press on done then go ahead and press on done one more time done and from here you want to go ahead and join a minecraft world and as you're able to tell our shaders are now officially working and we are running shaders on iris if you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe see you later french fries